setting up the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge for the first time. So after you put in the insert, uh, insert the SIM card at the top here, you can press on the power button and power up the phone. If this is the first time and you press on the power button and it doesn't turn on, then make sure that you have your phone charged before that. So I'll press and hold to the power button. So now, after a few seconds, the phone start. So we'll just wait for it to boot up. Okay, so you can choose the language. So you choose the default language where I bought my phone from in the widget I live in. Then tap on the yellow circle icon, the next icon, then tap on OK. Next, we can turn on Wi-Fi if you wanted to. So if Wi-Fi is on, you can choose a Wi-Fi network. For example, I'm going to choose that one there. And then you put in the Wi-Fi password. So I'll put in the password now. Then you can tap on the connect button after you print the password. If you have a long password, you can tick the um, show password checkbox. So then tap on next button. Then read the terms and conditions and tap on next. Agreed. So it's checking for connections, trying to do a software update if there is any. Then say next, skip. So as if you want to add in your Google account at this point, if you already got one, you can add in your existing Google account or you can simply tap on create a new account. We'll skip these steps for now, but you can uh, uh, simply just put in the uh, email address of your Google account to sign in. So we we'll skip this one. So we're going to skip. Then you can set up the time and date. So tap on the time and date. And go down the list and choose your city. So just go down the list like this and choose the city that you live in. You can also set the current date and current time. Then tap on next. Then put in your name. Then tap on done. And tap on next. So you have the option to um, select or deselect the checkbox here. Use Google Location Service. So if you don't want to help improve the location services, you can deselect the checkbox. Then tap on Next. So you can see the indicator here showing us where we're up to. So now you can uh, sign into Samsung account to uh, restore some of the backup you have did on the other phone. Or you can simply just create a new account if you haven't got a Samsung account. Or you can simply just skip and do that at a later time. So I skip for now, tap on skip. Next you can uh, add in a fingerprint. This allows you to um, use the home key here to lock or unlock the screen. So if you want you can tap on add and confirm. And here you can simply uh, place your home, your finger on the home key and this will um, we will try to learn your fingerprint. So you just have to see, uh, simply keep tapping on the home key until it's reading all your fingerprint. This process can take a bit of time. Let's just try to learn your finger print. So all you have to do is simply just tap on the home key. You can see it's at 43%. 5, 49, 60. I will try to move my uh, finger around the home key so I just do it on the left side then I do it on the right side then we'll try to do it on the top and just the bottom part just so that the, the phone can read the whole fingerprint so tap on continue at 80% 
just 90, 95, 100, so that's complete. Then you need to put in the password, 1, 2, 3, A, oops, ASD. So I'll put in the confirm password again. Then tap on OK. And say enable fingerprint lock. And tap on OK to agree. Then we're finished. Tap on finish button. And that's it. That is uh, complete. So now you have access to the home screen. So I'll tap on later. And you now have um, access to the phone and your phone has been uh, set up. If you want, you can go into settings and uh, account to set up uh, the Google account. So here, anytime you want, you can go into settings and then in the account uh, section. Down here, you can add in uh, the Samsung account and the Google account that they asked you previously. And that's it. That is the whole setup of your phones to get you started. Thank you for watching this video.